That mistake was worth it. Totally worth it now. Well, today's not starting off as we had hoped. <laughs> I think it's one of those travel mishap days. Yeah. Mini it's, mishap. Today, we'll just say today is teaching me a good lesson, which is how to be more flexible, which <laughs> I've gotten a lot better at, to be, to be fair to myself, because I really do think I've gotten better at it, but I'm still not as good as I could be at it. So yeah, it's just been kind of a stressful and ups upsetting morning, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not really upsetting. Like we're in a beautiful place, it's all fine, yeah. but you know, you know how it goes when something doesn't go as you hoped. In the end, it's probably not gonna be that big of a deal. But uh, so yeah, we got up kind of late, right? Yeah, we slept and in, that was the first thing that went wrong. Yeah, but we got out of the door on time for the bus that we thought was gonna come, 6.25, so we were out there plenty of time, 10 minutes or so and it's not there on time. It's 10 minutes late, 20 minutes late. It's like 45 minutes late, it just never came. So then there was another one at 7.10. That one showed up relatively on time. We get on, we bus over here to Amalfi. Uh, we get off this bus to get on another one to the other town and we're getting on the other bus and I'm like, I can't find the, the bus tickets. <laughs> the tickets, yeah. I can't find them, I can't find them. I'm like, crap. So I run into the bus, the ticket office to try to get more and the bus takes off while I'm in there so and it turns out the next bus is so right now it's eight something it was 8 like 8.05 when this all happened and the next bus isn't until 10 yeah. 15 so I guess to give more background on like what's even going on today <laughs> we're trying to go hike the path of the gods which is a very like famous hike slash walk around here and so what you have to do to get here is you if you're staying in Positano you take a bus from Positano to Amalfi and then you take a bus from Amalfi to Bomarano. Bomarano. <laughs> so the bus from Amalfi to Bomarano is the one that we missed because yep. we couldn't find the ticket. Turns out it was in the backpack we found it but the bus was already gone. So the, the reason that this is like I guess frustrating is we only have two days here and now um, we have to start the hike super late and it gets really hot here so we're kind of nervous about how hot it's going to be. Also we just like had we, we sat down and we reworked our entire entire itinerary for the rest of our time here to make sure we can still do as much as we wanted to do. So it's going to work out. It's going to be okay. It's just been kind of frustrating. Yeah, so I think the moral of the story like we we had a couple minutes to be upset about it but like they always say, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. So we're not going to let it ruin our day. Yeah, it's not perfect how we lined it up, but... Well, so positive news is we're in Amalfi and we've, yeah. we didn't have plans to spend much time here. And it's beautiful still. And we're going to go find some coffee and just kind of decompress for a bit because it's been a little chaotic. I think just getting around this town has been really stressful. Yeah. Like the shuttle last night and yeah. this and it's just like kind of confusing when you don't know what's going on. So it's gonna be okay. We're gonna go get extra sunscreen so we don't get burnt. Make sure we have enough water. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> We're at a place called Andrea Panza, which apparently is like an award-winning bakery. It's really beautiful. It has this awesome little outdoor patio. We got cappuccinos and we got this guy, which I walked in and I was like, what is that? And they told me it's a lemon delight and it's basically like a sponge cake with like a lemon cream filling. And this region of Italy is known for lemons. So we plan to have other lemon treats while we're here. And I've been really excited to try something lemon. So I had to get this, of course. Mm. That is solid. That's really good. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just like really like light really and light. fluffy and soft and lemony. It's really really good. The bus just arrived and we're getting on. We're not missing this one. We're moving. Yeah, we're on our way. <laughs> All right, we made it to Bomarano. Just got off the uh, the bus. It was a sleepy bus ride. It was about 45 minutes. And uh, this is where it drops you off actually at Cafe Moro. So we stopped here to uh, call in some reinforcements, you could say. So we both got two macchiatos and they are much needed. Not only did we need a little bit of an energy boost, but everyone gets off the bus together. You, since there are so few buses that come up here, there's always big groups that are starting the trail at the same time. And we kind of just wanted to spread ourselves out a little bit from everyone. So we're hoping this gives 
kind of them a head start and then we can kind of have the trail more to ourselves. So we'll see what happens. But since earlier we were kind of frustrated and things weren't going as planned, I kind of wanted to just explain the process of how to get here because I personally found it kind of confusing when doing research. So if you're staying in Positano, which is where we're staying, we took the, it's like C Nuova bus stop, which is right by our Airbnb. So we were there, we tried to take the 625, as Adam mentioned earlier, we took the 710. And um, the 710 was nice because once you get on that and it drops you off in Amalfi, you can hop directly onto the next bus, which is the one that we missed because we just didn't have enough of a buffer. So you get on at Positano at the C Nuova stop and there are also a, other, a couple other stops and they have like a timetable around town where you can see all the stops and the times. And then you get off at Amalfi. So you wanna make sure you take the bus going to Amalfi. And Amalfi is the last stop. So it'll be very clear that you need to get off there. And then as soon as you hop off, the other bus should be right there. So you get on the bus called Azurola, which takes you to the town Bomarano. <laughs> really struggling with these names today. And it drops you off right here at Cafe Moro. And so to know when to get off, um, I was looking at Google Maps the whole way up just to see when we were getting close to the town. And pretty much as soon as you can tell you're in the town, it'll be that stop. And this cafe is right here as well. And the bus driver did yell out the name because I think he knew like half the bus was going on this hike. And a really sweet local kind of pointed to me and he was like, this one, this one, and then pointed to where to go to the trail. So that was really nice as well. Um, one other thing I didn't mention is get your ticket in advance. So we got our tickets for the bus yesterday at this little store just right by the bus stop. Quite a few stores in town sell them. Make sure you tell them where you're going so they give you the correct one because our one ticket lasted for both buses. So that's kind of my quick and dirty how to get here. Um, I plan to do a really long blog post with all the details as well as more info on the hike once we actually do it because I just didn't find a ton of resources online that really helped me and it, it was really confusing. So hopefully this helps if you, you decide to come do this trail which I hear is gorgeous get here easier than we did and yeah uh, make sure you have your tickets handy so you don't miss the bus to get to the path of the gods trail you have to walk through town a tiny bit you'll start to see these like green signs that have the italian name for the hike on there they also have some bigger signs with the other hikes in the area so definitely check those out if you're feeling a little confused you can also look on google maps it told me where to start the trail and then once you're on the trail you have a couple options of how you could do this hike so First, you could go to the end and back, which would be quite a bit longer, or you could just go to the end and then take a bus back to wherever you need to go. Or you can go to the end and then walk back to like Positano, for example. We chose the <laughs> last option there, and we hear that once you get done with the hike, you're hiking back to town, and it's all downhill, and it's around, what'd you say, 1,500 Someone steps? Someone said 1,500. Oof. I don't know if that's accurate. All down. They said it was the hardest part yeah. of the hike, though. So. We're trying to avoid taking a bus today and exercise is good. For Woo. sure. <laughs> Alright, so I think we made it to the official beginning of the trailhead. This is the uh, Italian name of the, the trail here. We are currently here. We are going to end the trail right here and then we go brrr, all the way down and then we walk this back to town and that might be terrifying. We will see. That's the first dog that's acknowledged me the whole trip. All the dogs in Europe just ignore me and that one loved me. He wanted to come home with us for sure. Ah! That was one of the cutest things I've seen in a long time. <laughs> he loved the microphone on top of here. Yeah, we've said it before on other vlogs, but dogs love the microphone because yeah. it looks like a stuffed animal. That dog was so cute. <sighs> the horses were cool too, but that dog. Yeah. <laughs> if we had made that first bus, we would have never seen that dog. Seen that, little puppy. that mistake was worth it. Totally worth it now. <laughs> So earlier on our way out here to the Path of the Gods, we stopped in Amalfi and we went to the supermarket to get a couple items for lunch. Uh, so this is a really nice way if you don't want to eat out at every single little town you go to, having to eat out every meal, stop by a little supermarket. It's really cheap. This uh, focaccia bread was 240 euro. This guy was, I think, I think these were both uh, 195 a piece. So and then we got one more pack of meat that we ate earlier. In total, it was about 10 euros. Really cheap, uh, and it's high quality stuff. 
that uh, is just so delicious and perfect like snack on the trail. It's crazy because in the US a package of prosciutto is like six dollars or something at like Trader Joe's but here you can get it for like two euros and it's obviously like probably even better than Trader Joe's. Way better. It's awesome. We see building. We made it to Nocelli. Which is the end point of the trail, but we still have to go down to Positano, which I hear is probably the worst part. So we'll see how it goes. So after you reach the town at the end of the trail, just keep walking down some stairs and you will find this place called the Lemon Point, which has a bunch of fresh lemon drinks. Mm -hmm. So they have a couple different drinks you can get, but we got the lemon slush. You can get fresh squeezed. They also have fresh squeezed orange juice. And this will do like these like non-alcoholic like lemon cocktails yeah. and stuff too. And there's a dog here and some cats. Yeah. <laughs> and the dog let me rub its belly. <laughs> these were two euros a piece. Not, not too bad. They're really refreshing. Oh, they're so, You're good. so refreshing Perfect right for the now. end of the mm. hike. And the view's amazing. Ooh, headed down the stairs now. The sign at the Lemon Point said it was 1,900 steps. So that's a little bit more than the 1,500, but regardless, it's a lot. Yeah, so make sure that you time your hike right with this because the lemon stand closes around 3 o'clock. And you don't want to miss it. It's no. so good. Even if you don't hike down to Positano afterwards, you should definitely go down the stairs from the town just to go get yeah. a little slush. It's perfect right at the end of the yeah. hike. Oh, we needed that. Midway point update. Got about 700-ish left. And you got this view to keep you, keep you going. My legs are shaking, but these steps are great because they're actual steps. They're not yeah. like dirt, they're not a trail, they're made out of concrete or rocks. And they're awesome, but my legs are still trembling. Hi ho! Here we go. Hi ho! It's off to Positano we go. <laughs> Don't know if these are correct, but they're probably pretty close. But you get these little updates along the way. See where you're at. How much you got left. So the stairs part of the hike is over. The next step is to walk on the famous, tight, scary Positano roads. Back to town. Back to town. It's already scary enough being in a car on this road. Now we get to walk on it with the cars. Wish us luck. <laughs> I think the trick is you need to, as you go and you see cars coming, you need to duck in the cars that are parked along the side of the road here. It's the trick to it. We survived the hike. We survived the steps down to Positano. We survived walking on the street with cars. But these stairs, just walking through town back to our Airbnb, might be what gets us. Whew, there's a lot of them. Oh man, <laughs> we made it back to our Airbnb. And I don't think I've been this sweaty in such a long Drenched. time. We are soaked. That was one of my favorite all time hikes though. Like the legend behind it, the story behind it, and just how scenic it was. And just, it was the perfect weather and it was just a great experience for us. And then like when you end, it's it's interesting getting back to town and then you get to, <laughs> then you get to come back through town and it's just, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Like from start to finish, it's, it was absolutely beautiful. And I know we were a little sad this morning, but it really did work out for the best. I think it turned out even better. <laughs> yeah. And on, and like, we'll, we'll still get to do almost everything we wanted to do tomorrow. So yeah. it's going to be awesome. But now it's time for us to get ready and go to dinner. And yes, we're wearing the same clothes as last night. <laughs> Don't adjust your screen. We are going to dinner at Il Tridente and it's supposed to have some pretty good views. So we've been here five minutes. This place is awesome. The staff is so nice, every single person. Um, the views, can't beat the views. Okay, so our first course came uh, and Catherine got some ravioli with uh, some kind of cheese in there <laughs> with pesto on top. These look so good. And then I got a feta chili noodle <laughs> with, uh, these are like cherry flavored semi-cooked shrimp. And then there's like a lemon uh, flavor as well on there. Parmesan, of course. Just looks so good. And they got us more bread. More bread with that focaccia. So then for our main course, we are splitting the Spanish beef, which apparently is extremely tender and it looks really beautiful. There's raisins on there, there's spinach, there's some nuts, and this awesome looking sauce. 
So we cannot go home without dessert. And you can't come to Italy and not have tiramisu. So that's what we have here. And it came with some fresh strawberries. Raspberries? Ra raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> One of the waitresses gave me a flower. I feel so special. We're finishing the night with macchiato. So we didn't want to be weird and be like, this is amazing while we were in there. Cause it was a very nice restaurant and we're not used to going to those and we don't want to get kicked out of them. But that was awesome. Yeah, the food was incredible. The view is hard to beat. The service can't beat it. Oh yeah, the service <laughs> was, was awesome. so attentive. We're like, yeah. oh, this is what a nice restaurant's yeah, like. Yeah, we don't get a lot of those. Yeah, we don't go, <laughs> we don't eat out like this very often, yeah. but we figure we're on vacation. This is probably the nicest area we'll be in on vacation, so. Go big or go home, I That's guess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the end of our second day in Positano. Tomorrow's our last day. We're kind of just kind of go like beach hopping, check out the town, maybe nice go eat relaxing, somewhere. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we need a relaxing day. So we're hoping that tomorrow is it. So we will see you then. So we did something that we never do what? this morning. We slept in. Operation Day of Relaxation is off to a great start. It's a crazy concept to us, but <laughs> so our vacations like normally aren't the typical vacations where you're kind of relaxing all day and you take it easy. We like to start early, catch the sunrise, get out and see all the sights that we can before the crowds of people, especially when we're here in Italy and Europe and all that. And then we're going all day and we stay out late for the sunset because, you know, sunsets are awesome. Um, <laughs> but when you're going so much on both ends of the day it's day after day the you just gotta you gotta break somewhere to get to sleep so today was that day yeah we uh, have been falling asleep in random places like coffee shops so i think <laughs> yeah. it was a sign that we needed to like actually the get buses, some sleep because coffee shops, yep. we have you know still a week here and it's going to be a really busy week so we want to make sure that we're well rested so today is all about relaxing and just kind of soaking up the scenery here and just hanging out at the beach so we're at Spiaggia? Spiaggia Beach this morning, which is the main beach yeah. in Positano. We tried to get here still pretty early, even though we did sleep in. We grabbed some food on the way, and we're just gonna relax here for a few hours. Um, you can rent a beach chair here, or like a lounge chair and an umbrella, and that was our plan, and then we saw the price. Yeah. <laughs> and it was going to be like 55 euros for both of us, and that's just not our style. Yeah. I, I keep thinking of how much gelato we could buy for 55 oh, euros. Oh, right. And that would cover like the rest of our gelato for the trip. That's so. like five trips to gelato, yeah. That's like more than five. Yeah, maybe, it's usually yeah. pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to just slum it on the like free part of the beach, which is kind of rocky, but it, it, it could be fine. pretty dangerous. We're, we've been here about five minutes and chirping. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hot. So the umbrella would be nice, but yeah. we'll, uh, we'll take some breaks. We're gonna wear lots of sunscreen today. Yeah. It's gonna be a really fun day. All right, so for breakfast, we stopped by Lazzaria. And we went here the other day and I saw the guy behind the counter making these sandwiches and I wanted one so bad at the time but we had other plans so we made sure to stop by this morning to get them on our way to the beach and check out this huge panini it's freaking massive so it's like a some kind of bread I'm not sure um, but they put huge chunks of tomato like thick slices of mozzarella and then they put ham so it's ham tomato and uh, mozzarella and then what I didn't see them do the other day, they drizzle olive oil all over it and they put like probably salt and pepper and some other kind of Italian seasonings. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. It's like so huge. Come on in, the water's nice. <laughs> I'm usually a wimp when it comes to the water. It's actually not that bad. It's really hot out though. We spent a nice like three hours relaxing at that beach, which is kind of crazy because we're not really like lay out on the beach kind of people. We, we do enjoy it, but we like to beach hop or to go do other things. We can't just lay on the beach all day. We get a little bored. Yeah, as is the theme of all the other days of our trip, get to where you're going early because the beach fills up quick, especially the uh, public free part. Uh, if you look over at the, the paid part, it's not very busy because yeah. it's 25 a piece. So. Uh, but yeah, now we're really hot and sweaty, and even after jumping in the yeah, ocean. It's um, really hot out. So we want to go get something nice and cool to maybe try to cool us down. A frozen treat, perhaps? Mm. We found something super delicious. It is a frozen lemon with lemon sorbet inside of it. Mm. 
is so good and just what we needed because it is so hot These outside. These are perfect for the warm days on the beach. You can get this at the Cobo de Saraceni. There's like a little like, um, you'll see the ho it's a hotel, but underneath the hotel there's like a, a white little like bistro and that's where we got this. So yeah. you don't have to actually go like sit, into the fan sit in the fancy hotel, which was our concern at first. But yeah, they have food and stuff too if you want to get food and then get this after or whatever. But these were six euros a piece. These are the smalls. So yeah, kind of the spendy, yeah, but, but it's really treat, good. treat yourself. <laughs> And the nicest, the nice thing is like it's kind of staying contained because it's yeah, starting yeah. to melt, but it's staying contained in the lemon. It's definitely staying uh, more frozen than the gelato. <laughs> oh, so yeah, my recommendation: skip the bougie seats over there and get a couple of these. Yeah, we still have money left from if we were to get the seats. Money left for more treats. And after you're done eating your sorbet, you can just use the lemons as a way to cool you down because they're still frozen and they feel so good. So Positano has two beaches. The beach we were at earlier we thought was called Spiaggia Beach, but it turns out that Spiaggia is the Italian word for beach. So we were at Beach Beach. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and so there's that beach and then there's also another beach called Fornillo Beach, which we hear is a little less crowded. So to get to Fornillo Beach, if you're on at the main beach, look to the right, you'll see kind of a little pathway along a cliff and you just follow that and you'll find it. So far, it looks great. It does look a little less busy. They have the chairs you can rent, but they also have a free area so we're excited to check it out but first we came to da ferdinando for some lunch this spot is right on the beach another cool thing about this place is not between one and four but the other times they will have like a little boat that can pick you up from the other beach in town and bring you over here so you don't have to walk so that's pretty cool and you can rent beach chairs from them for 10 euros a person instead of 25 ish a person so i'm already liking this this part of town a little bit better So our first impressions of this beach, we definitely like this one better. Yeah, it just feels less busy because it's not surrounded by like the entire town and the water's still beautiful and we actually don't have like people like right up next to us yeah. when we're trying to lay out. So definitely make the little trek to this beach. I Definitely worth it. I, I kind of wish we would have come here a little mm -hmm. sooner to be honest. So unfortunately, we've had enough sun for today. Now we're making the trek back up to the Airbnb. So many steps. And the next step for Operation Day of Relaxation is a nice home-cooked meal. Yeah. We aren't sick of Italian food by any means. It's delicious. We love all the carbs. But we definitely are wanting something a little bit lighter. This is We've been eating a lot different than we're used to, and we're kind of feeling a little weighed down a bit. Yeah, the bread and pasta, bread and pasta is just oh, it's so heavy sometimes. Yeah. So so good though so what we whipped up is a nice little steak well kind of little not really little <laughs> it's kind of covered with the veggies uh, and then zucchini and red pepper and it's gonna be good yeah chef adam made it for us yay chef adam yay. so tonight is our last night in positano tomorrow we head to rome and we're really excited to um, finally see like one of the most major cities in all of Italy. It's gonna be so awesome. World. <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed following along as we explored the Amalfi Coast. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that we did, just let us know. We plan to release some like guides, especially like how to get to the Path of the Gods and things like that in the near future. But we absolutely love to hear. It's gonna be a little sad to leave. Yeah, you gotta come here. This place is awesome. It's so cool that it's like built basically straight up the side of this mountain or hill and the water's right there the hiking was awesome the city's cool the beach just everything yeah it's just it kind of just has great. it all it's gorgeous even if it's a little expensive and Can there's be. a lot of stuff <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna enjoy our dinner hopefully catch a sunset out of our beautiful airbnb window and we'll see you tomorrow in rome still to come yeah. probably getting back to positano What's that? <laughs> I was like, meat. <laughs> <laughs> I had meat on my face the whole time since we ate lunch? Yeah, I guess so. God, I'm so messy. Nice. Oh, my parents are going to be so proud. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs>